Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 3 of Let's Play Shovel Knight. I'm Agu, and this is the Agu Talks Gaming channel. Um, in our previous episode, we managed to defeat Spectre Knight. So that is the Lich Yard clear, as the one that I'm selecting now. And we're moving on to this area here. So this little dude appeared just in my map, and I was wondering what the hell was going on, so we're just going to go find out. I realized that my last day of video, we spent a little bit of time in the village, which was not great because um, it didn't make it very dynamic for you guys. Um, I'll try my very best to make the content a little bit more exciting. Um, I do watch my videos after I make them. Unfortunately, I am not tempted to recreate content, seeing as I am enjoying this game and I just want to keep playing it. So, to me, it's not enjoyable to have to to have to figure out like what's just enjoyable for all of you I mean I I'm just trying to have some fun as well so I hope you understand that right so you see these guys they're 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 now um they're now like diving into us that's something that didn't used to happen they used to just fl um, fly straight so there's been a lot of advancements as the game has progressively gotten harder and harder for me to be able to hold on was that it I just had to defeat that level? Interesting. I don't know what I got out of that, to be honest. Right. So, I I am gonna go to the village. Um, we're gonna spend some quick money on on um, on some items and things like that. You know, give this guy some some notes because he he wanted some notes in the previous one. So I gave him the notes, which gives us quite a lot of money to be able to spend to improve our gear well and our specs so let's see how much the meal tickets going off for so it's going for 6,000 I'm not gonna be upgrading this because it feels a bit um, a bit like much um, I've also noticed that there was some really interesting things going on around here we have some items um, that we can buy a vessel for storing mythical ichor um, I, I don't really know what that's for but let's go for it. So hold a vessel for storing mythical ichor, but it, but where to find it? Right. So we can't. We we'll have to wait until we find that mythical if mythical whatever it is. I don't even know how to pronounce it properly. I really like that item. We got it in the previous um, episode, and it was actually quite good. It makes us phase in and out. Very awesome. Balanced combat potential cast into a pit and wait for a bite some 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 really interesting things let's let's pick up this this these items it'll just be uh, good to <laughs> that's cool makes us uh, you know start looking into uh, different things this game has to offer that's why I didn't want to just add more life to my to my specs now I'm tempted because um, I can't really buy the health anyway just to buy the rest and just be done with it so let's do that yeah I'll buy that too so what does that do give it a good throw right okay so it seems like an orb that it's like a magic orb that just does damage I imagine I, I don't know we'll, we'll find out soon enough I hope Right, so I think I'm done over here. Um, last time we did play around with this little ring or whatever, but there's no point. And we got this note here. But let's move on. So we're going to be going with the King Knight. We're going to Pride More Keep, Lair of the King Knight. So let's do that. For chivalry! Dun, dun, dun. I love that. That's 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 just a, such a nice touch. I really like this item. But we're gonna play around with. I like the idea of this um, of, of fishing in a pit. Let's see what that what that what that does. So we wait for a bite. What does that do? I wonder if we have to press anything. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I see. Oh, you press when he does that, right? So that was interesting. Um, we will have to 
Uh, that seems a bit grindy. I guess it's for those that really like to grind things. I wonder if like there's specific areas and specific pits that are much more successful than others. Huh. It might be good for health gaining when we're low on health. Um, right. So we're going to go test the Chaos Sphere as well. And on top of that... So there goes the Chaos Sphere. Didn't really do much because it missed the, <laughs> missed the targets right away. What the hell? How unlucky is that? Okay, so we got four Molten Lava above us. We have these enemies that we can sort of skip. That's okay. So far, so good. So, again, um, I've said this before in, previous, in the previous videos, but um, I think it's really good to mention this. This game has a lot of really interesting foreshadowing. Um, and by that, I mean, well, it's very good at letting you know about mechanics before they happen. So, we were just taught about this Molten Lava, and now it appears more often. Ooh, that's shiny down there. Okay, okay, we're seeing some uses, some uses. Let's see what happens. I hope this doesn't take too long. Whoa! 350! That's great! Okay, so we're gonna be making the money back so fast. Right, take a note guys, if you're planning on doing this, get that freaking um... Sorry, sorry. I got I got all concentrated and my and I and I lost my my, my ability to talk. One second. Uh, yes, get the cane. Yeah, absolutely. It's good. The fishing thing. Yeah. I I I have this thing where like when I'm playing games, I focus so much on what I'm doing that I if, it's very difficult for me to kind of put thoughts together. Or to remember words, to remember how to English. But I'll do my best, guys. I'll do my best, so bear with me. Right. I think, um... Ooh, nice. So now we know the, uh... Like, the cue for the wall that we need to hit. Okay, so we got this guy. Okay, I, I hit him. There's not much to do there. Okay. Done there. They taught us that. They taught us that. That's important. Oh, this guy that is actually has something. Ooh, he blocks. Oh, but he can't block forward. Fine. Got him. That was straightforward. Nice little presentation, though. I like it. First, we thought there was an enemy. It wasn't inside of the armor. Oh man! Okay, 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 okay. We really have to spot those cues. I mean, I think it's the second time that happens to me. In the previous episode, we accidentally missed a spot like this as well. So let's try not to do that again. There we go. Is there anything else hidden around here? Nothing else! Let's move on! Woo! Jumpy, jumpy, jump. Oh! Huh. Whoa! Right. Do they break? How do I... How do I get it to... I skip it? Yeah, there we go. Can I jump over it? Okay, cool. Got the diamond. Got the diamond. It's all about those diamonds, guys. Gotta keep getting the monies in. Ooh. Looks tricky. Looks very tricky. Hey, wait. Gotta think this through. Huh! 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 Oh, man! That was so close! So, it feels like that, that particular sequence, you have to kind of trust that there's going to be a platform there <laughs> to grab you every time you jump. And it, it makes me nervous. But it's good. Loving the difficulty spike, honestly, embracing it wholeheartedly. Got it. Now what? So I match it? I match the... Nice! I had to press up there. And it kind of moved me through. So, we got some blocks. 
um, above us, so I'm gonna try and get that. Um... Okay. Wah! Shovel Knight really does jump quite high. But you can, like, the, the good thing about this is that it's sensitive to the button that you're pressing. So if you press hard, you'll get, like, the highest jump, right? And if you press softly, you'll get the lower jump. And those little details really help towards the control of the game, and I really enjoy that. Let's try and do this now. Whoa, there he is, our friend! I wonder if he has something that we can afford. Oh, 1,000. Conjure fiery blasts. Let's do it. Let's do it. Whoa, it's a ball of fire. Cool. Loving it. Wow. Okay. Now I just gotta... This is really sensitive. Come on. Come on. Perfect. Actually, it's not pressing up anymore. I, I've just noticed that it'll just do it. Wait. Whoa. Oh, what the? Should I have jumped there? Hmm, not sure what I should have done there, actually. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Confusing it is. Like my Yoda impression? Yeah. Yeah. Yoda. How the hell am I going to get over there and back to get my stuff? Right, I'm tempted to just leave that. We leave that. We'll recover the monies. We will. I believe. I threw a ball of fire to your face and you don't die? That took three balls of fire? So it's three hits, so the damage of the shovel is the same as the damage of our, our fireball. Right. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Awesome. Very nice. Very nice control. Okay. So I'm tempted to fight him. But I'm also tempted to find out what's going on up here. Is that the continuation of the map or is it the other one? Oh shit, shit, stop! <laughs> Alright. I, I, wait, I'm not gonna be able to get back up there. Oh, so it wasn't the continuation of the map. No way. No way. Right. This thing keeps happening to us, guys. Or happening to me, rather. <laughs> no way. Okay. Yeah, of course. If there's a freaking... Oh, whoa, I managed. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's find out what's over here. Ha, I can shovel it. That's amazing. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, can't do it again. Let's just smack him in the face. Oh, spotted that. Let's see if there's anything else. Ah. Ah. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Whew. Liking the theme song as well. Oh, so we can jump down from here. That's good. Let's keep going right, see what happens. A griffin? That's really cool. So we get to see the pattern without getting hurt because we took that path. Does that wait? Can I shovel over it? Oh my god, I can shovel over that. Let's try it. Ugh! No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. We go back. Oh shit. Right, okay. So we gotta get to the griffin. Gotta get to the griffin without getting hurt. So, we know the pattern, so the pattern's not gonna hit us here. It will hit us there, though. So we gotta get to the platform. We does he throw two at a time? One, two. And we jump here. And this pattern, the pattern doesn't hit us here. Okay, and... He claws us. Is the pattern the same every time? That's not exciting. Three? No? Oh. No change of pattern. Just death. Alright, so now we know, right? So we're gonna probably get at that griffin again, because that's the foreshadowing. Let's 
game is all about that foreshadowing. Rats. Rats for flying. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Whoa! Nice. Um, let's find out what's over here. I'm not sure if I, like, skipped something. Oh, you see that? You can jump over the top of the screen, but you still see Shovel Knight. Which is something that I think didn't happen in, like, classical games. Right. Ooh, gotta be careful. This time I embraced it. There's a few fireballs there. Just to kind of block theirs. That worked well. So I can see the little, um... Little beetle kind of thing. It looks like a beetle or a shield or whatever it is. That little symbol. It's just cueing us that there's, uh... Breakable walls. I'm gonna miss that diamond if I don't hurry. Oh, I missed it. Damn. Let's get that. Why not? <laughs> right. Okay. Can I go behind them? No, I can't. Look at that. It just made us believe. It made us believe. Okay, so we got there. Done. Done. Loving this fireball. Now what? Hmm. Hmm. Is that is that it? Is that does that mean I have to continue down the normal the beaten path? But if I do can I can I can I go down the beaten path? Oh I can. But the staircase is right wait. That staircase doesn't go down, does it? Let's see. I used up a lot of mana there. That wasn't very good. I'm not very efficient. Let's see. Aha! Okay. Things are hidden behind the fan, the curtains. Is there anything hidden around here? Not really. Well, you never know. You never know this game. From what I can, s what I'm, what I've learned. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get attacked both sides. Ooh, there was a path there. Hmm, maybe use the dudes to our advantage. Mm, or not. Don't use the dudes to our advantage, it doesn't really matter. All right, we move on. Look at the candles. They're green. Green candles. It's good, it blends with the background. Doesn't get in the way, doesn't, doesn't take away from the, uh, from the main thing that you're focusing on. I think I just made it harder for myself. Alright, or maybe, maybe, maybe I haven't, actually. Uh, yeah. Oh, damn. Collecting all that stuff. It feels so satisfying to shovel things. So, so satisfying. I just used a fireball there by accident. There's a book. Okay. Can I jump over it? Whoa. Hmm. So now we have to top the book mechanism. And we get to Oh, we, we have to we have to do this guys. We have to do this. We gain so much out of it. And I gotta pay back the I gotta pay back for this. Gotta make my money back. Wait, don't eat me, knight! The Triple King commands me to share this with bounty with you. All hail the Trouble King, the King of the Fish and Fruit. Long may his stem grow. What? Really? Oh my god. That is amazing. So, so, it was all about a combination of things. Oh my god, I'm really, really, really killing, my, killing myself here. Okay, so we wait, we jump. Let's do it again. Right, so we gotta we gotta we gotta be ready for this. Okay. 
Okay, we gotta we gotta hurry. Oh shit! No way, man! What the fuck? Six hundred and sixteen? Why? Do you lose more by dying? Oh my god! Right. We can do this. We can do this. Believe. I believe in the heart of the cards. I believe. All right. right. I wanna. I wanna like. Here we go. Yes! We did it! Yes! Whoa! I forgot about those! <laughs> that blended so well. They, 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 they made me look at the bottom. It blended so well with the curtains. I wonder if there's stuff behind the curtains, actually. There you go. Apple. So this is, this is like recovering me fully, I think, boss fight. No. Okay, we got the pattern, we got the pattern. He only does two, as we know. That's one, two, hit. Great design. So yeah, so I said in episode one, um, and I know that that wasn't really heard properly from in episode one, I, I played with the idea of making games back in the day. Um, not so long ago, actually, I was doing courses in Unity, trying to get better at coding, and I love it. I love coding. It's been a hobby that I've picked up um, not so long ago, and it's been it's been just a, it's been just a great experience to be able to create something like that on a computer. Um, and I've always wanted to make something like this, like a platformer, and 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 really, you know, dig my teeth into game design. Unfortunately my art abilities are just really poor. I have never practiced them enough to be able to get it up to speed. And I decided that since I love games and I love talking about game design, then you know, I should I should um I should play this. I should do things like this. So that's why I'm doing this, guys. That's why I'm doing this. All right. Focus, focus. An interloper is in our midst. Be gone from our throne room, knave. King knight. Wow. I'm no more an intruder than you. You aren't even a real king. Oh, but you're mistaken. The Enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me. You're not but a decadent dandy. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. <laughs> Silence. Let's do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He jumps a lot. He likes to jump. He should be the jumper. Oh shoot, oh, we still have the- whoops, whoops, that was a mistake. Oh! <laughs> I was hoping to use the wand. What is that? It uses eight. Now we're gonna use the wand, we're gonna use this, the fire one. Whoa, whoa, trumpets. They deal damage? That's just made everything such much more complicated. Okay, I get away from him. If I get away from him when he's jumping, I could manage to dodge that. Hmm. We're having a bit of an issue, guys. This is looking really, really, really hard. Okay, so he jumps to me. Oh, no. I'm losing a lot of health really fast. I killed him? I wasn't even looking. I wasn't even looking at his health. I was just focused on, like, surviving as best I could. I guess that's how you manage. Look at that! Ha! Did it! Ooh. A treasure chest. Can I pick it up? Wait, can I? I wanna... Is this one of those where I have to catch her, and if I catch her, I get to pick it up? Right. I, I don't know where she's gonna be. The screen is pretty big. Whoa. We're gonna catch her! Yes! Whew! 
Whew. Suddenly showing up from nowhere. Jeez. What's in here? What is that? We got a free meal ticket? That's excellent. Right, guys. I think that's it. I think that's where we're going to stop it. Thank you so much for watching. This is episode 3 of our Let's Play for Shovel Knight. This is Agu Talks Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.